Hi, this is Joe. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, we have another uh, product to evaluate here. This is uh, a Bauer 20 volt um, USB uh, charging port. Uh, it has uh, two USB ports on it and uh, it fits the Bauer style uh, 20 volt lithium battery packs. Um, this particular one is uh, an amp and a half. They recommend using a minimum of a 3 amp pack. Uh, but I wanted to test to see if it actually would work to charge my cell phone on an amp and a half. Now, normally I don't use uh, the Bauer packs. I use, uh, I use either Ryobi or Rigid. So what I'm going to do is uh, <clears throat> do some. I'm going to do some uh, reading and a little reverse engineering on this charger and see if I can use some uh, some uh, alligator clip uh, and wire and try to uh, jumper this adapter to my Ryobi packs. But that will be in another video. We're just going to go and test and see if this actually indeed will charge my phone. So let's open this up. Let's take a look at it inside and see how it mounts up to the pack. I'll go grab my cell phone and then we'll do a charge and see if it works or not. We have this opened up now. Uh, the one thing I like about this, uh, the Ryobi. Ryobi makes uh, their own USB charger and it's uh, big and bulky. I really like this because it's small. Um, here's the uh, battery packs. Basically what you do is you just slide it on. Uh, there's your power battery charge indicator and uh, then you just hitch up uh, up to two USB devices on here and then uh, supposed to charge your devices. So what we're gonna do, uh, I, we'll go get my phone and we'll give that a shot and see if an, if an amp and a half uh, battery pack will actually work. Um, very small, very compact. I like this one. Uh, I paid $17 plus tax for this at uh, Harbor Freight and much cheaper. The Ryobi one runs uh, $25, $26. So let me go get my phone. Let's do a, a charge test and uh, we'll see how it works on an amp and a half uh, a battery pack. My phone is at 20% uh, charge. It's a 519. We're going to now plug this in. Again, this is a 1.5 amp battery pack. Uh, Bauer recommends uh, at least a 3 amp, but I want to give this a shot to see how far this will charge uh, a single device on an amp and a half. So let's plug this in. And I don't know if you heard that or not, but the uh, charge indicator uh, is now positive and the phone beeped. So let's check the battery pack. And it says it's full. So it's, five, it's 519 now. Let's uh, keep an eye on this. And uh, next time we come back, we'll see how the battery is charging. It's now 6... Uh, 32. The uh, phone is at 90% uh, charge. Let's check the uh, battery pack. We still have uh, three green lights, so I'm going to let this fully charge to 100%. Uh, we'll see how much battery is remaining, but so far it's looking pretty good. It's now 709. The phone is uh, charged to 100%. Let's check the battery level. Battery level looks uh, looks like we have we used one bar or one dot. Uh, there's now two, so it looks like I'm going to be able to get several charges of my phone on this. The nice thing is, is this is small enough I can throw it in a backpack, throw it in a travel bag, and uh, this would be quite nice to carry around in case I have to uh, charge my phone on the go and there's no uh, there's no plugs or anything around. So this is quite nice. I like it. Uh, I was able to charge one device uh, 
very nicely on an amp and a half uh, small battery pack. Um, so uh, mostly I would use this just for, again, like a cell phone or some type of uh, <clears throat> dev uh, device that uses uh, the lithium ion charging. So uh, I'm rather impressed with this. $17 for uh, the Bauer USB charger. And uh, again, this uh, is an amp and a half battery pack, also a Bauer. Uh, in a later video, I'm going to try to hitch this up to a, a Ryobi battery using jumper wires. And uh, if it works, then I can make a little, uh, some type of a connector or something on there. But uh, not too terribly bad. Uh, I believe the, um, the Bauer amp and a half battery runs right around... Uh, Oh, uh, $20, uh, $22, $24, something like that. So all in all, not a bad purchase. And I like the compactness, and I like how it works. Might be able to get a couple of charges uh, off of this, uh, off the battery pack. So hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more videos coming. We'll see you next time.